Felix. Felix, Felix, Felix. I know, I know, I know, I know. Oscar, what am I going to do? I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to wash those pills down with some hot black coffee. Do you think I could leave you alone for two minutes? No, I don't think so. Stay with me, Oscar. Talk to me. A cup of black coffee. It'll be good for you. Come on in the kitchen. I'll sit on you. Oscar, the terrible thing is, I think I still love her. It was a terrible marriage, but I still love her. I didn't want this divorce. How about Ovaltine? You like Ovaltine? With a couple of Big Newtons, uh, chocolate Malmars? So we had a few fights. We had two wonderful kids and a beautiful home, didn't we, Oscar? How about some Vienna fingers or vanilla wafers? I got everything. What, what more does she want? What does any woman want? Right now, I want to know what you want. Coffee, tea, or Ovaltine? Then we'll get to the divorce. It's not fair, damn it! It's just not fair! Oh, my neck! What? What? Oh, oh it's a nerve spasm. I get it in the neck. Oh, oh, that hurts. Where, where does it hurt? Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Can't I see where it hurts? It, it's, it's a nerve spasm. Just let me alone. Oh, oh. Lie, lie down. I'll rub your neck. You'll ease the pain. You don't know how to rub me. It's a special way. Only Francis knows how to rub me. You want me to get her to come over here and rub no, me? No, no. We're getting divorced. She wouldn't want to rub me. It's tension. I get it from tension. I must be tense. I wouldn't be surprised. How long does it usually last? Just a minute. Or an hour. Once I got it while driving, I drove straight into a liquor store. Oh, oh, that hurts. You want to suffer or do you want me to rub your stupid neck? <sighs> easy, easy! Relax, damn it, relax! Don't yell at me, tell me what to do! Tell me nicely! Think of warm jello. Isn't that ridiculous? I can't do it! I can't relax! I sleep in one position all night. Francis says that when I die, my tombstone is going to say, Here stand, Felix Unger. Oh, oh! Does that hurt? No, it feels good. Then say something. You make this same sound for pain of happiness. I know, I know. Oscar, I think I'm crazy. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I think so too. I mean it. Why else would I go to pieces like this? Coming up here, try scaring you all to death, trying to kill myself. What is that? That's panic. You're a panicky person. You have a low threshold for composure. Don't stop, it feels good. If you don't relax, I'm gonna break my fingers. Look at this. The only man in the world with clenched hands. I do terrible things, Oscar. You know I'm a crybaby. Bend over. I tell the whole world my problems. Listen, if this hurts, then say something, cause I don't know what the hell I'm doing. It just isn't nice, Oscar, coming up here, carrying on like a nut. How does your neck feel? Better. Only now my back hurts. What you need is a drink. I don't drink. It makes me sick. I tried drinking last night. Where were you last night? Nowhere. I just walked. All night? All night. In the rain? No, in a hotel. It was over near Times Square. A dirty, depressing room. Suddenly I... I found myself looking out a window. I began to think about jumping. It stopped you? Nothing. I'm still thinking about it. Drink this. Oscar... What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I didn't want this divorce. I'll tell you what you're going to do. First, you're going to pull yourself together. Then you're going to drink that scotch. Then you and I are going to figure out a whole new life for you. Without Francis? Without the kids? It's been done before. But I'm nothing without them. Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? You're something. A person. You're flesh and blood and bones and hair and nails and ears. You're not a fish. You're not a buffalo. You're you. You walk and talk and cry and complain and eat little green pills and send suicide telegrams. I'm telling you, Felix, no one else does that. You're the only one of its kind in the world. Now drink that. Oscar, you've been through it yourself. What did you do? How did you get through those first few nights? I did exactly what you're doing. Getting hysterical? Oh, no, drinking, drinking. I drank for four days and four nights, and then I fell through a window. I was bleeding, but I was forgetting him. How can you forget your kids? How can you wipe out 12 years of marriage? You can't. When you walk into eight empty rooms at the end of the night, it hits you in the face like a wet glove. But those are the facts, Felix. And you gotta face them. You can't spend the rest of your life crying about it. It annoys people at the movies. Be a good boy and drink your scotch. I can imagine what Frances must be going through. What do you mean what she's going through? Well, she's a woman. She can't get out like me. She's stuck all alone with the kids. 
Where is she going to find someone? Now, at her age, where? Maybe someone will come to the door. Felix, there's a hundred thousand divorces each year. There must be something nice about it. What's the matter now? My ears are closing up. Ugh, I get it from the sinus. I'm allergic to dust. That must be the dust. Ugh, ugh. What are you doing? Uh, relax. I'm not going to jump. Oh, I'm just going to breathe. Ice Drive France is not crazy with my allergies. For a while, the only thing she could wear was my aftershave lotion. It's a wonder she made it this long. Oh, do it! Oh. You, my ears, I'm trying to open up my ears. You create a pressure inside, and then it opens up. Did it open up? A little. I think I strained my throat. Oh, Felix, why don't you leave yourself alone? Don't tinker. I can't help myself. I drive everyone crazy. A marriage counselor once kicked me out of his office. He wrote on my chart, lunatic. I don't blame her. It's impossible to be married. Takes two to make a ride in marriage. You don't know what I was like at home. I bought her a book and made her write down every cent we paid. 38 cents for cigarettes, 10 cents for a paper. And then we got in a fight because I said she forgot to write down how much the book cost. Who could live with someone like that? An accountant. What do I know? We're not perfect. We all have faults. Faults? Ha! Faults! We have a maid that comes in to clean three times a week. And on the other nights, Francis goes and cleans. And when they're both done, I go in and clean the whole place again. I can't help it. I like things clean. Blame it on my mother. I was potty trained at 12 months old. How do you remember something like that? I used to recook everything. I can't help it. it I, every time Francis would leave the kitchen, I would go in and add salt or pepper. It's not that I didn't trust her. It's just that I was a better cook. Well, I cooked myself out of a marriage. Stupid damn idiot. Don't do that. You'll give yourself a headache. I can't help myself, Oscar. I hate me. Oh, boy, do I hate me. You don't hate you. You love you. You think no one has problems like you. Don't give me that analyst jazz. I happen to know I hate my gut. Felix, I've never seen someone so in love. I thought you were supposed to be my friend. That's why I can talk to you like this. Because I love you almost as much as you do. Well then help me! How can I help you when I can't even help myself? You think you're impossible to live with? Blanche used to ask me, what time do you want dinner? And I'd say, I don't know, I'm not hungry. Then, at 3 o'clock in the morning, I'd wake her up and say, now. I've been one of the highest paid sports writers in the East for the past 14 years. We saved eight and a half dollars in pennies. I'm never home. I gamble. I burn cigar holes in the furniture, drink like a fish, and lie to her every chance I get. And for our 10th wedding anniversary, I took her to the New York Rangers Detroit Red Wings hockey game, where she got hit with a puck. And after all that, I still don't understand why she left me. That's how impossible I am. I'm not like you, though, Oscar. I couldn't stand it living all alone in eight empty rooms. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to work. They'll have to fire me. How am I going to make a living? You'll go on street corners and cry. They'll throw nickels at you. You'll work, Felix. You'll work. Do you think I ought to call Francis? What for? Well, to, to talk things out again. There's nothing left to talk about. There are no words left in your entire marriage. When are you going to face up to it? I don't know what I'm going to do, Oscar. Then listen to me. Tonight, you're going to stay here. Then tomorrow, you're going to go and get your clothes and your electric toothbrush, and you're going to move in with me. No, no, it's your apartment. I'll just be in the way. Felix, there's eight rooms. We could go for a year without having to see each other. Don't you understand? I want you to move in with me. But I'm a pest. You know I'm a pest. I know you're a pest. You don't have to keep telling me. Well, then why do you want me to live with you? Because I can't stand living alone. That's why. I'm practically proposing to you. What, do you want a ring? 